honey, you want any sugar for your coffee? What are you doing here? It's Beef Wellington time, isn't it? Uh, yeah, welcome to my cabinet. You live here. You've always lived here. Actually, you've only lived here temporarily, because today we're doing Novice Chef versus Beef Wellington, the Josh Weissman edition. Uh, I know you guys were expecting this video for a very long time. Meat's hard to get a hold of, and the specific meat cut in particular, because it's such a, excuse me, cabinet door, such a um, limited part of a cow. So here we are. Finally, uh, Jeremiah was wonderful to seek it out for me uh, after a failed pickup order to just get the stupid cut of meat we need so we have it and we're ready to make Beef Wellington. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, I think the first thing we gotta do though is get some puff pastry uh, done. So I'm gonna, um, let's, let's do this, shall we? Just kidding, I'll take you with me. Okay, the puff pastry is complete. I almost had a little breakdown there, a little self-doubt moment where I was like, oh, this is too much, it's too hard for an office chef. So uh, I had some lunch and I feel much better now. So don't let the hunger get you, have a little snack, don't panic. Um, but now while the puff pastry rests for however long it's gonna take, but definitely more than an hour to get everything else prepped, uh, we are gonna rest our meat at room temp, we're gonna sear our meat, we're gonna make our deck sale, and we're gonna do something else that's important, make crepes. That's, uh, that's it, that's what we're doing. I mentioned before that tenderloin was very hard to get a hold of, so we do have tenderloin steaks and then a filet mignon piece. Uh, so it's not perfect, but uh, novice chef, right? I don't know why this, the Chateau Briard, Brignard, Brignard is so hard to find, but it was. But we're gonna bring this to room temperature and we're gonna do that in our pantry because we have little carnivores everywhere in our house, so. Next up, Duxel. We are gonna need shallots, some garlic, and I'm using a mix of just white button mushrooms. Mini king oyster crabs. Yes, mini king oyster crabs and some portobello mushrooms as well. Uh, so I'm gonna chop everything up and we're gonna it. Embarrassing. I didn't clean my station. Our duck cell is done, I hope. It is, it does look like a little chunkier than the video. Uh, so I'm a little self-conscious about it, but I'm sure it will work out just fine. We are now waiting for this pan to get really stupid hot so we can sear these boys and brush them with the finest Dijon mustard I could find from, you know, Target. It's made with uh, white wine.
It's grape time. First, milk. Next, egg. Next, flour. Let's go ahead and give this some whiskey business. Make sure you really get the flour on the outside. That's, uh, that's how you get the taste. Just fling it around. Confession. I have never made crepes before. So let's do this. This first one's gonna be garbage. Just don't look at this. Take two. This, this looks more like a crepe. It's not round and it's still too thick, question mark. One more, one more try. Too early of a flip. Whoops. And now we produce. Ignore my crappy crepes. Everything has been resting. It's time to start again as a bonus. We are making the crispy, 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 the crispy potatoes um, for this. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna roll out the puff pastry. I think it was tearing. You'll, you'll see in the footage that it's tearing a little bit. I think it was tearing because it wasn't cold enough because I was storing it in the vegetable drawer instead of the main part of the fridge, so that's on me. But let's get going. Let's, uh, let's make a beef wellington. Okay, so I don't have a lattice cutter, but I love you, papa. So we're gonna hand make lattice for uh, for this ugly, a little ugly guy over there. So don't say I didn't ever do something for y'all. Here we go, homemade lattice. I love you. Hello and welcome to Evan Watch 2021. I'm literally sitting in front of the oven watching these to make sure they don't burn. 
because uh, my sister and I made, uh, I think it's Kraman, the croissant sugar pastry things. And um, I let them burn because there's so much sugar and I just like didn't think about it. And I ruined her experience. So I'm just, you know, point of view. You're me making sure you don't fail. It does look like the back is cooking quicker, so I think my oven might be uneven, so I'm gonna rotate it halfway through when the potatoes get done. The time has come. I tempt it and I think it's overdone, but The battery died as I was losing my mind, but look at it! Ah, that puff pastry is underdone. No! No! Alright. Is it underdone? Okay, after some research. I think some of the puff pastry might be a little underdone, but honestly, I'm not willing to risk it for the deliciousness that is this. Uh, I do think that I might not have reduced the duck cell long enough to get all the moisture out that I should have, thus resulting in uh, a moister puff pastry than probably desired, but um, I am very excited to give this a try. Never had this before in my life, so. Okay, it's really good. It's kind of like stupid good. <laughs> like here, take a stupid good part of the cow and just wrap it in things that you love. Pas pastry and meat being those things. Uh, so, and mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, Novice Chef versus, I'd say we tied on this one. There are definitely things that I could improve, but for something I've never tried before in my entire life, I'm pretty proud of myself. But you know what's better than Beef Wellington? Some B-roll. That's it for Novice Chef Versus. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Leave a comment below if you have anything that you want me to try from a Novice Chef perspective. And uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.